I just appreciate you being willing to hop on here and chat because I think that teachers are amazing and they have the best of ideas and we can learn from each other. And so I just love that you're willing to hop on here with me and talk a little bit more about your math vocabulary parade. So thank you. Of course, of course. I want to thank you for Lucky Little Learners. I absolutely love everything that y'all do. I love being an all access member. So I'm so excited to pair up with you about this just because I absolutely love what you, how, how much you all help me as a teacher. That's great. That's what it's all about, right? Like back and yeah. forth, teachers are helping each other on just on so many levels here. So I love that. Thank you. Of course. So let's just start with a little bit more about you as a teacher. Tell me a little bit more about yourself, where, you know, where you teach or how many years you've been teaching, what grade you teach, things like that. Of course. Um, so I teach second grade. Um, this is actually my first year teaching ever. Um, I did a lot of like foster parenting and I was noticing those children struggling um, to catch up. And so I did a lot of like homework and a lot of tutoring um, with a lot of the foster kids that I had. And then I was like, I loved it so much. I love for those light bulb moments. Um, and then like to see them grow as much as they did in my care, I was just like, I need to do this full time. Um, so I left being a construction project manager forever and a day, I think about 15 years, um, went and got my master's in education. And this is my first year teaching. That's amazing. I love that. That's an amazing story. That's so cool. Second grade? Yes. Yeah, second grade. For those that are watching this right now, they're, um, just to give a little background context, you had posted this idea of a math vocabulary parade inside of our Lucky Second Grade Teachers Facebook group. And it was really fun to see the amount of teachers that were just pumped about this idea and it had gotten, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see it on your end, but it had over 21,000 views. Oh, wow. Um, which is really, really cool. And just seeing how many teachers were liking it and commenting and asking questions. And so I thought, okay, I need to, I need to jump on here and do, I need to know, I don't need to know more. So for those that are watching this, can you just, let's rewind a little bit and just explain yeah. what is a math vocabulary parade? Absolutely. So a math vocabulary parade is essentially um, a, where a child will dress up as like a vocabulary term. And um, then we kind of paraded through the halls. And it was just such a really super neat experience because my biggest goal was for the children to really start to connect those vocabulary terms. Um, so we were able to kind of divvy it up into four different categories. Each child picked a term from the categories that they were in. And then we just created this whole parade where they dressed up as the vocabulary term. Okay, very cool. So you kind of gave them a little bit of guidance as far as like which words they were picking and probably past words they've learned and things like that. And this Absolutely. is, this is, I've never seen this idea before. So I thought, how cool is this? Like how, how long did it take you to just even think this through? Um, I'm one of those leap and then kind of do people. <laughs> so, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I have this idea. And, um, so I went to my principal and just asked permission. Like I have this crazy idea. Do you support it? And she said, absolutely. And just, you know, let me do my thing. And so probably that was about three weeks before, um, because initially when I was like, okay, I want to start figuring this out and how to connect the terms and help these children to really resonate with it. And so then when I came up with the parade idea, then I was like, oh, math day is coming up. Um, how perfect to do the math vocabulary on math day, which is the 314. So that's when it started evolving very quickly. Cause I'm like, okay, that's less than three weeks <laughs> to figure this all out. Um, so I was able to borrow some wagons from some of my other teacher friends. Um, and then we were able just to kind of get it all put together from there. Um, the kids colored the hats. Um, I know I've got one here actually. So um, I was able to get these printed. Um, that was the very first thing that I did was print all the things from Lucky Little Learners All Access. Um, then I let them pick their terms. Um, and then we started creating the hats. And after they got it colored, um, it was probably the day before or the day of I um, was able, I have these here. I was able to get these ah. colored. Again, oh, awesome. I got yes. a lot of this from the um, Lucky Little Learners All Access 
y'all have really great. Um, I'm trying to think what they're called, but like the anchor charts. Yep. So I was like, okay, I want to do this in this way. And so I was able to kind of like mold your anchor charts into these great little billboards that sat on the wagons and we pulled them. And so it was about three weeks for everything. So you said they pick their, they pick their term and you give them the choices to pick from. They make their hat, which will pop a little thing on the screen here to show the different steps to just see how that's broken down. And you, and you built the hat the, on a tape board, I'm assuming. Is that how you did that? We just got it out of um, poster board. So okay. we just kind of cut the poster board in half. Half of it made the base, half of it made the top. Okay. And then you use the vocab cards to stick on the, on the hat and yeah. then they can decorate it however they wanted for their hat. Yes. Okay. And then after that, you, you said you use the anchor chart printables to kind of put together their own like poster. Yeah. Um, and that was the, after the hats. And so then did they decorate those? Um, can you show me, do you have one from the kids? Absolutely. So this is one that I have. And, um, so his term was fourths. Yeah. And so he went ahead and just kind of did a black background and then he made a shape that has fourths here and here. Okay, perfect. After the hats, then, then you, they had their poster board was made. Did they get to add anything to the poster board or is that something you just put together for them? So the anchor chart poster boards I put together for the floats. And so I did pre pretty much the four categories. One was geometry, one is measurement and data, one is number sense, and one was algebra and operations. And um, so I put together the wagons and the anchor charts for the wagons. And then um, the students put together their costumes as well. I said, that assignment home with the parents and just said, here's my idea. They can dress up or not dress up because they're going to have a hat either way. Um, so that's when some of the students then dressed up as like a grandfather clock for the person telling time, or they put um, one little girl's super, super great drawing. Um, she drew a whole entire hundred dollar bill and then, you know, accessorized it. What a great way to be able to give kids their, um, own creative freedom over it and they can take it yeah. really as far or as not you know not far as they want like you said they all have hats and so even yes. if they can't come in with a full-out costume they're still being able to represent and participate through their you know however far they decide to take that the wagon detail you said you got you borrowed those from just colleagues or teacher other other parents or how did where did you say those came in from yeah so the wagons um I asked other teachers I don't have any kind of like they're um the, those little beach wagons that are the collapsible fabric kind mm -hmm. and I don't own any and so I asked some of the other teachers like hey do y'all have these and um I was able to get four and so it just worked out perfect because that's exactly how many categories I wanted. Okay. Very cool. So you said then that the kids took their, their hats, their costumes and these wagons. I mean, tell me a little bit more. Did they go through the school? Like what would, what did that look like? Absolutely. So, um, we have another class, um, that are fourth graders and those are what we call math buddies. And so, um, probably once every other week, um, as they earn rewards in their class, they get to come and pair with our kids. So I asked the fourth grade teacher if their math buddies could actually pull the wagons so that the kids could focus on. Um, we also were passing out rollers and we passed out, um, like, I'm trying to think what else I have like little math pencils and little math stickers. Um, so almost like a Mardi Gras that you just kind of like pass out and go and have fun with it. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what we ended up doing. So we started at the very front of the school. We walked through each um, grade hall. So we walked through kindergarten, first, second, all the way through fifth. And um, the students were outside their classes cheering um, and just lined the halls. So my kids were passing out the rollers, passing out the stickers as our math buddies pulled the wagons through the different grades. I just, I love, I used to do math buddies when I taught kindergarten and we paired up with the second grade class and it was the most powerful little learning experience when we would do that. And I love that you guys are partnering second to fourth too. Yes. Uh, so cool to see that and just a neat way to bridge that older to younger mentorship and all of that. That's so neat. 
Um, and so then when the kids were, did they have, so they are throwing out, like, like you said, the Mardi Gras, like they're throwing out pencils and rulers and fun things like that. Did they have anything that they had to say or um, is it more so it was like an observational thing where the different classes were just like looking at the posters and looking at the hats or did they have anything to present or? Absolutely. So the original idea was for my students to connect with the vocabulary terms. Um, however, I, the, a lot of the feedback that I received was how much fun it was for the other classes and how they really enjoyed seeing the costumes. And then they started being able to connect some of the costumes with things that they were learning in their own um, because we're so uh, vertical alignment between the grades are, is just so important to be able to scaffold. And so that gave the other teachers a really great talking point in their class. Like, did you see the grandfather clock or did you see this or that? And they were able to observe it and talk about it. So it was more of an observational for the other classes. I love that. So speaking of feedback, that was actually my next question is just general feedback. What did you hear from your own kids going through this experience? What did other, maybe other teachers say, or maybe your principal, what were some feedback things on that? Um, well, first off, my kids were absolutely excited. Um, it was such a neat experience for them to be walking through the halls and all the kids like cheering and clapping. Um, I also had a little Bluetooth speaker going with some music. And so we had like a theme song that we played. Um, basically it's like, we're all in this together. And so that was kind of the theme for the whole thing. So um, I think everyone should experience going through that kind of line, having people cheer for you. So that really brought out so much confidence in these kids. And they were on such a high for the rest of the day of like, did you see that? And how cool was that? And kids were cheering and they were here and they just resonated with it so much. And that's exactly what I wanted. Um, the principal probably five minutes after, after the parade was like, I can't wait for next year. There was so much just wonderful feedback, especially the upper grade math teachers um, were like, we want to get in with this next year. We want to pair up with your class and do it. So um, it's definitely going to be a much bigger thing next year. I was, that was another question I had is that, will you be doing this again? And I can Absolutely. see, yeah, that's awesome. I can see why the upper grade teachers especially appreciated this because they rely so heavily on these kids knowing their vocabulary. And another piece that I just love about this entire project is it, 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 you're, you're able to bring so much fun and so much enjoyment into the learning. They can coexist. Like learning can be fun and engaging. And you're, this is a perfect example of how the two can be married in such a way. I love that so much. Yes. Um, so what would you say were your, either your favorite parts about this project or your students' favorite parts about this project? Absolutely. So the students absolutely love decorating the hats and then seeing each other's costumes. Um, when an, when the students were bringing in their costumes that morning, it was just like the whole class would just go wild every time a new costume walked in the classroom. Um, just seeing their excitement, just once everything was put together, I, I just can't tell you what that does for me as a teacher. Like that's what you live for is those excited moments of learning. Um, my favorite part of the whole entire project is just how hands-on it made it. Um, vocabulary is so tough and then we are a title one school. Um, so it's really hard and it even, okay. So my class is, um, I came as a teacher halfway through the year. And so a lot of the students came from other classes. Um, teachers kind of were like the low of the lows or the behavior issues out of their classes. And so my class, um, was a little bit difficult to begin with. And so I have worked so hard for us to be a family, to be a team and to show these kids that they can shine. Um, so for me, it was just that really super great confidence, hands-on learning, and for them to be able to really truly connect with those vocabulary terms. Um, I have seen just such tremendous growth from doing the parade that I can't even like, it is measurable to show, but just the excitement on these children's faces. Like, I just can't even begin to tell you what that means to me as a teacher. So even just you explaining that part of the story just gave me like 
goosebumps <laughs> everywhere. I just like that, that makes it even more of a beautiful thing, right? Yeah. I love what you're doing. So I guess my final question, because we're going to have teachers that are going to want to do this. Like, this is a wonderful idea. And I'm excited that, that your story is being able to impact teachers all over the world. And I can't wait to see more pictures come into our group so that you can just enjoy that ripple effect that you're going to see from other teachers. Um, what would you say you have, if you had any tips for teachers who would like to host their own vocabulary parades? Okay. So, um, some tips that I might like I know next year, if I was to do this again, um, I would start planning a little bit sooner. I would also evolve a lot more um, of the school. So because it was such a crazy idea, I was just taking it all on myself. Um, so I think my biggest tip would be for teachers to involve other teachers, whether it be same grade level or, you know, your mentor about um, math buddies or however, you know, it works, but, or even your room moms, like get people involved. The more that you can build that community for this parade, the bigger success you'll have. First of all, just thank you so much for sharing this idea for teachers all over the world. Like I said, I can't wait for you to see more teachers doing this and, and you can just feel like you've made an impact too on, on so many more classrooms than your own just by sharing this idea. So I appreciate that so very much. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time today. And I'm just so excited to see other teachers be able to do this and enjoy it as much as we did.